Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to share with you a quick tip and anyone who owns a MS919 or a Maxisys Ultra, um, you're probably gonna benefit from this due to the fact that it comes with a VCMI and this is literally the lifeline of communication. If something happens to this device, you're screwed. <laughs> you're pretty much screwed over. So what I wanna do is share with you uh, a tip on what I did with one of my clients on what to do after your VCU my bricks after it updates okay and for those who are new to the channel welcome this is Curtis Harden I'm an auto diagnostic consultant if you want me to align with the best tool strategy package and support that you see in this presentation head on over to my website okay so what you're gonna learn today is what to do when you update your VC my and it bricks and then also how to prevent it from happening again Okay, the tools that were used were the Maxisys Ultra and the VCMI. Okay, um, and a little bit of background. So I'm going to read the message that I received. So we're having an issue. Well, we we're using the Altel Ultra on a vehicle yesterday when a message indicated that the VCMI needs to be updated in order to continue using it. It was working fine the first time, you know, our power lights were on, everything was great. The USB cable was connected from the Ultra to the VCMI, and as the update started, it stopped suddenly. The voltage on the battery got really low, and we got a prompt that we need to put power on it in order to continue using it. We put power on it, and it still would not work. The error message came on, and the power button remained red. We called Altel Tech Support. They said to charge the VCMI for 30 minutes. If it did not work, it would need to be sent in for repair and testing. Not good, okay? So that's when they decided to give me a call and this is the steps that I took. Okay, I'm just gonna give you my framework. So the first thing you always wanna do is, you know, observe the situation, okay? So I log in and from what I can recall, we're hardwired uh, to the vehicle and we have an ample amount of power uh, going to the VCMI as requested, but you can see we're not getting any uh, communication here. All right, you can see that it's uh, the VCMI is, is not giving us any communication. So at this point, I wanted to physically see what was on his uh, VCMI in terms of the lights, because each light has a, a, a story. Um, you know, green lights and blue lights mean that there's communication, an amber light means there, there's something uh, problematic, and a red light, you know, it indicates, you know, the, the power, all right? Um, now, you can see he's plugged in here, and uh, everything seems fine. So, the second test that I wanted to do was I told him to take out the USB cable and take out all the power, okay? I wanted to see if indeed, um, if he still gets power without you know getting no power being sent into it. And sure enough, it, he was right. We I can confirm, you know, we were getting nothing. So usually, when I see these type of things, I've seen this happen in reverse where somebody updated their operating system software and then their VCMI failed. So I was like, maybe this happened in reverse, you know? So I encouraged him to update his operating system. All right, and, and you can see here, we did have an update for it. And then after we update the uh, operating system, um, I'm gonna attempt to download the firmware, okay? So the computer restarted and we have two more updates. I'm just gonna go ahead and download these two. All right, then the libcom. All right, so we got the libcom, okay? So now at this point, I'm gonna click the VCMI uh, icon at the bottom here and uh, attempt to do the procedure again, okay? So where is it? All right, there we go. So we're right there. Now we got a prompt, battery's too low. So this is the prompt, you guys. Okay, 
So what I want you to do, if you see this prompt, okay, check your, your Autel update. Click the big green update button first to verify if you don't have any operating system or system updates available. Make sure you have all those up to date, then go back and update it, okay? And that's how you'll avoid this uh, situation. And to prove this, um, once we have everything connected, you can see now we're, we, we have that uh, update push notification and now it's communicating. So we put the power back on the VCMI because it needs to have uh, ample amount of power. And then now you're going to see it's going to start to communicate. He was telling me that the lights were uh, showing green and uh, let me speed it up a little bit. There you go. Software is updating. So it's important not to interrupt this process because it will uh, potentially damage the VCMI. But as you can see here, it went through smoothly and uh, yeah, I was able to go in there and scan his vehicles after this, okay? So it was a very, very simple solution. So what was the result of this? There's a lot of cognitive benefits, all right? So obviously there was a time-saving component. The client avoided the lengthy process of sending their repair away. You gotta get someone on the phone, fill out an RMA form, and then you know pay for the shipping to have it sent out, okay? The other benefit was increased productivity. The resolution allowed the client to continue servicing his customer with information or without interruption. So we know our customers don't care. They, they don't care about this drama that we have every day, but he was able to get that done. And uh, yeah, this could have been a, a, a pretty big repair. Um, these VCMIs are not cheap, you know, and um, depending on if he was in and out of warranty, you know, getting a, another one would probably been expensive. Um, and empowerment. The client gained knowledge about the VCMI as he now knows to check for updates on his software app first. After that's downloaded, then he can go to the VCMI app to download the updated firmware, okay? So what I encourage you guys to do, whoever you uh, have purchased the tool from, when you have a problem, tell them to log in. This is my saying. If, if they don't log in, chances are you're not gonna win, all right? Bottom line, you, you, it didn't take a rocket scientist, it just took a little bit of uh, effort, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tip. With that, enjoy your Friday, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.